Hello everyone, my name is Gregory and this is lesson 4 of our Python and Drones course. In this lesson we're going to learn how drones can be used to deliver medicine to remote areas or to areas which are, let's say, flooded. Uh, according to our lesson scenario, we will have three villages which need our help. Let's say this is going to be our village 1, uh, village 2 and village 3. And here we will have our drone base. This is our base. So um, we are going to use we are going to use these mission pads, which have numbers on them, uh, to represent these flooded villages. And we also going to use the second video camera, which our drone has, uh, the down facing video camera, which is able to detect these digits. And we are going to program our drone to uh, read these digits and land on. Uh, our mission pads or if we already have delivered let's say according to our scenario we already have delivered enough medicine to this um, to this particular village we will fly over it and fly directly to village number three um, now we are going to use this kind of pattern and our task will be to see how we can use multiple drones to fly simultaneously in this order Let's see how this is going to work. We're going to start by importing our Tello library and launching the drone. Then we will be repeatedly printing the current mission pad the drone sees. Don't forget the parentheses after the get underscore mission underscore pad. All right, let's test our very first code. Initially, we will launch our drone, uh, make it take off, and then we will put a mission pad underneath it and see if the drone can detect the number with this little down facing camera. Let's try. I will put my computer like this so you can see what number it prints. That is mission pad number six. Now if you zoom in over here you will see that mission 6 is detected. Now I will try another mission pad. This is mission pad number 8. And as you can see on the console, the drone detected mission pad number 8. How about mission pad number 4? That is mission pad number 4. Beautiful. Now how about mission pad number 5? That is 5. How about mission pad number one? That is mission pad number one. That code works pretty well. Now, now we can add more code. Now we will store the first pad the drone sees in a variable called initial underscore pad. Then in our continuous loop we will move forward 30 centimeters each time. If the initial pad does not match the latest pad the drone sees, we will print out a message and use break to exit out of our loop. Finally, we will land. Now
we will test how our drone can take off. Remember the initial mission pad, fly forward and detect the next one. Once our drone detects the new mission pad, it's supposed to land on it. Let's test how this is going to work. The drone takes off. It remembers the initial mission pad. It flies forward. It sees the next mission pad and lands but there is a little problem. As you notice, it doesn't actually land on the mission pad. It's because the drone manages to see the new mission pad a little bit ahead of itself, and therefore it lands a little bit in front of the mission pad. Let's see how we can adjust that code. To fix this, we will move forward 60 centimeters before it lands. Let's try it now. Now, the drone will first of all detect the new mission pad and then, before landing, will fly forward 60 centimeters. That is exactly what we wanted. We will import the time library at the top of our program. When it sees a new mission pad, instead of braking, we will move forward 30 centimeters, land and wait one second with time.slip. We will then take off, reset the initial pad to the latest pad it sees, print the new initial pad and finally turn clockwise 90 degrees. Since our program goes on forever, we can remove the last two lines. To prepare for the testing of this code, you will need to mark a square in the room and place mission pads in each corner. Now let's test the whole code. The drone takes off, detects the first mission pad. Now it will start flying forward until it reaches the first, this, the, the mission pad number one. Let's see how this is going to work. All right, it sees the mission pad, it lands on it, perfect. It waits one second, simulating medication delivery. Takes off again, now it's supposed to turn right 90 degrees, nice. Flies forward again, and hopefully it sees the next mission pad, which is mission pad number four. Yes, it sees the new mission pad, lands on it. Wait one second, takes off again. Turns 90 degrees clockwise. Flies again towards mission pad number one. Once it sees mission pad number one, it sees it now. It will start landing. Very good, one second delay. The drone takes off. Turns 90 degrees. and flies towards our base. Once it sees this mission pad, it lands on it. Beautiful. And this mission continues on and on and on and on until we actually decide to land the drone. Once your students complete this mission, ask them to uh, code two drones to fly simultaneously at the same time, controlled by two different teams. That is risky though, because they will need to account for each drone, making sure the drones do not collide. In our simulation, we used mission pads to detect when we have reached a destination. Students can discuss how drones in real life can detect when they have arrived. Students can also discuss other considerations such as weather, network availability and other aircrafts.